looking a lot better now. But to the left, not so much. So I'm going to add about 25 pixels to the left, maybe 18 pixels to the right. And I like that a lot more, except to the right. <laughs> Sorry if I'm kind of getting to a boring state. It's just part of it, I guess. But so now I have my template basically set up. Oh, except I don't have the three state rollover menu. So let's go ahead and get that set up, and this tutorial will be set. Um, okay, so back into Photoshop. We're not done with Photoshop like I thought I was. I'm just going to go ahead and um, layer that, and just go ahead and take my slice tool again. But just K and choose slices from guides. And we're just going to go ahead and do this again where we select these three and save them as nav and set it to selected slices. And come back over to Finder in here and rename this to home downloads and contact like that and I'm just going to open this up in Photoshop just by selecting them um, drag them in there and I'm also going to go ahead and open up or you know what we're not really ready for that part now we just need to get our active state yeah I want that extra shadow in there I think that looks better okay so I just relayered added the active and save for web and devices save this Actually, no, I need to select these three. Um, selected slices is nav again. And we can come back over into Photoshop. And right over here. And now I'm just going to rename this to nav oops, home over and downloads dash over and contact dash over and that way we'll have our hover states and then we'll add um, active downloads actually no, this needs to be dash active just copy that and contact active so now we have our six links and we'll just go ahead and drag these three. Or I'm going to start off with home. So we have home over. Just drag that into Photoshop. And we'll do the same with our normal home link. So if I can find it right here, drag that over into Photoshop as well. So we have home, home over, and selected. Well, now let's go ahead. The width, I th the height, I think I said that was set to, you know what, I really don't remember. It was 69 pixels. So now to go ahead and get set this up. Well, oh, what I am doing is I want all these to be the same link or the same image, and we're going to use CSS coding to go ahead and um, split those up. So to do that, I want to get the height and multiply 69 by. We'll go ahead and change that to paragraph. I'm going to clear that and say 69 times. 3 equals 207 pixels. So back over here, I'm going to change, go to my main home, image, canvas size, set that to pixels, and we want the bottom, and we'll set the height to 207. Copy that in case I forget it. And the, the anchor part, if we select the bottom, it's only going to stretch it out to the top, and you'll see what I mean if you watch and you can't really watch it, but you'll see, you notice it just moved upward 200 pixels or a couple more pixels. So, just I'm going to maximize that out so you can kind of signify or tell the difference. Um, so, select your move tool and go to move over and just drag that in there and it will automatically snap. I think I might have snap too. Yeah, snap is already on. So, as you can see, it automatically snaps right there. And now all I have to do is move it down until there's no more, there isn't a pixel space to it. And I like to have 
my show transformation tools off during this step so I can kind of tell okay there we go that's the right area so I can kind of see okay it's right there so now we can close that one and in home active this one since I have the snap 2 already on is automatically going to snap horizontally and vertically so now we can just save home and we'll just save it as home.jpg or actually no, we need to go to file save for web and sorry about that file save for web and devices and choose save as home save it replace it and now we're done with it so we can go ahead and close it and I don't really need it anymore and now I'll just do this same thing for our downloads so in Photoshop we'll go here and we'll need the other downloads over and active so in Photoshop open up those over in the set and just come back over here to select this one image canvas size this is kinda like the long part I guess you could say you just do the same thing over and over again until you get it set up missed so I'm gonna resize that a little bit Come over here and just drag it over there and move it down and zoom in and I'm gonna set my background color to white so it's or black maybe so it's a nope didn't work so I can kinda see there we go that's where I want that one so you make out to 100 percent take the active one and that one's set so say for web and devices once again downloads.jpg replace it close it don't save close close and now for our contact and this is the last one if you're getting tired of watching me do this so contact over active and normal so image canvas size pixels bottom 207 there we go now it has that white background that I like because it's easier for me to tell that I've what I've done so we'll just drag it drag it and save for web and devices save it save it replace it don't save don't save don't save close and now we can go ahead and delete this folder that had all those over let me make sure yeah, we can go ahead and delete that because, see, we have all three states in one image. And to get this to work with TextMate, just go to your links and set it to no repeat, bottom, center. And I'm just going to paste that to all of them. And the reason it's going to do that is because we set the width to 69 pixels. So if we go over here and view this image right here, this bottom one is 69 pixels and 210 pixels wide and then when we hover we want it to go to that image so to get to do that we'll come back over here and underneath this just add ul nav li a hover so we get our hover state set the background dash position to no repeat um, middle or center center and that will automatically set the background position to that one right there and then for the blue state or our selected state that's really easy as well just I uh, can close that just add another class so ul nav li active set the background position to no repeat. Actually, no, the no repeat isn't necessary. Just say it that to top center. And I'm going to remove this no repeat because it's not supposed to be there. And if we reload this page, 
You'll notice that when I hover over it, the opacity is no longer as transparent, and the text darkens, and you can see the more, the more of the outer glow. And now to get the active one part, just go back over here, and since I'm on the first page now, we'll just add active to that, and you'll notice that it's blue. And that is the end of this tutorial. Finally, it's been almost 40 minutes. This is going to be a four-part tutorial. Wow. So, um, thanks for watching this video, and I hope you learned something out of it, and goodbye.